Okay, this morning I'm going to show you how to use three centrifuges that we have in the lab. We have a tabletop micro centrifuge, and then we have a larger tabletop micro centrifuge, and then we have a clinical centrifuge. Okay, so I'm going to go through each one of them and why we use them. Uh, the first one is the tabletop uh, really micro centrifuge, very small one. And the reason why we use this is simply to centrifuge down the liquid after you mix up your, uh, your sample. Let's say I'm mixing a number of volumes in this test tube right here, micro centrifuge tube. After I mix all that, I flick it with my finger. Now all the liquid is on the side. Somehow I have to pull them down to, to the bottom before I can incubate them in, at the proper temperature. All you have to do is you use this tabletop centrifuge right here. That doesn't go as fast. But there is a switch in the back. You reach there and turn it on. Okay? And then there is a button on the front that when you press it, it opens. Okay? You put your tube in. I always put them in with the notch, with the hinge on top. So that if you were to, and I always use this as a rule, so that if you were to pipette and you want to separate the liquid, you always know that the tube is oriented that way. If you were to pellet something, you know that the pellet is going to be on that side of where the hinge is, because that's what's oriented on the top. Okay? So you put the tube in and use a balance tube to put in right across from it on the other side, okay? And then you close it, you press it, just like that, and then you stop it. So this is called a quick spin to make sure you pull down all, all the liquid. Again, you put it in, close it, just like that, and then you stop it by pressing that button. Now all of your liquid are down to the bottom of the tube you can take this and incubate it either in a thermocycler or in the water bath. Okay? Now I'm going to move over and show you how to use the next size up. And that is the larger micro centrifuge. Okay? Now you always use this as in balance. Like so. So you have two tubes that are basically balanced and let's say I want to pellet these tubes right here I want to centrifuge just so that I get a pellet on the bottom so all you have to do is uh, turn the micro centrifuge on there's a switch on the back when you turn it on you're gonna see all of the numbers on display on the front and the light is gonna open like so okay now, there's a button that says open, so you press that button and you open it. And then you unscrew this just like you would open a bottle, like so, and you take the cap off. Make sure there's nothing in here and there are 18 slots for 18 tubes. So I'm going to take that extra tube out, like so. They shouldn't leave anything in there. And then you take your tubes, again, hinge side up. You put it in like that, and you put another tube on the other side, hinge side up as a balance tube, like so. So I put it in the number 12 slot and number 3 slot, okay? And then you take the lid, and you put it on, and it fits perfectly, and you screw it until it snaps on, like that, okay? Close it, and you're going to hear it pop. That is close. Now we're running it at 14,000 RPM. Okay, this is how we pellet DNA, and that's the speed. That is actually the maximum speed. Now, if you want to spin at lower RPM, you can actually dial this back. Okay, like that. And so we always spin at 14,000 RPM, and the time you can adjust that knob to go up to 14 minutes, 21, or dial it back to 5 minutes. Now, when we're satisfied, we've got the RPM that we need, 
and the time that we need all you have to do is press the star when you press it numbers begin to blink okay and then the RPM begins to increase and it's gonna work its way up very quickly to 14,000 RPM okay we don't want to run it for that long so I'm going to press the stop and it comes right back down and you're going to hear a sound that is ready to be open there you go let's open up open the cap just like we did before and you take out your tube and if you're looking for a pellet hinge side up pellet is going to be right on the top the bottom of the tube okay that's how you use a micro centrifuge now I'm going to move to the clinical centrifuge I'm going to close this let me get two tubes and so you come to the clinical centrifuge and all the centrifuges will be closed like that okay and uh, we usually spin this at 1000 RPM for about 5 to 10 minutes for bacteria like that okay so you reach back there's a switch in the back to turn this on when you turn it on it's gonna have all these numbers appear in that window there's a button that says open simply press it and open like that make sure you always have a balance tube again I have two tubes that I put one in in that slot and one right across from it in that slot now if you were to pellet let's say bacteria remember when you take that tube out you're gonna look for the pellet on top just make sure you know where the top is okay like that you close it and it's gonna pop in place like so and uh, where you have press start slash stop you press that to start and the RPM begins to climb up to 1000 all right it climbs up to 1 but this is times 1000 and it's going to go for about 5 minutes since we don't want it to go 5 minutes I'm going to press it to stop it at the end of 5 minutes it's going to stop there you go and it opens for you when it stops you take your sample out you look for the pellet on the top and that's how you use a clinical centrifuge. Thank you very much.